Thank you for joining me today on our What Became a Regular Unusual Sports Series. <laughs> so let's dive right into it. My first thoughts on Malphite support. Mm, he's okay, definitely has that potential. I've been playing him for a week now and what I can say is that you get a good burst damage from level 6. You have your little shield as your passive that allows you to do short trades. Um, for example, you shoot your Q at enemy ADC and they use their skills. Basic trade, right? But my damage goes straight to their HP bar while I have a shield that absorbs damage. After a few seconds of being on of battle, Malphite gets his shield back, so I have an advantage of trading. Q is a basic point and click poke plus slow, however the range is very short. Anyway, we will max that. Best thing about Malphite's support is that he has a great potential in his ultimate that knocks enemies and does damage. This is a great engaged tool that can result in a successful trade. However, let's keep in mind that before level 6, Malphite is quite vulnerable and we will need to play more on a passive or, so to say, patient side. So we will poke the enemies with Q and if they'll engage on my ADC, I'll try to absorb as much damage due to my passive to protect my EDC. Protect at all costs. <laughs> One downfall that I noticed that there's a huge mana burden. You can't just spam your Q as you lose mana very fast that will result in short trades. In terms of pairing, Malphite doesn't have ADC preferences like, for example, Nico. I think as long as ADC can follow up on your engage, the pairing will go just fine. As our unusual supports mostly are melee champs, we all know that longer range bot will counter you and potentially poke you down. So we gotta be mindful about that. In terms of build, you can potentially go tank build, but I think you will not get tank enough to support your team due to gold problems, unless you're super, super ahead. So realistically, you won't be tank enough to frontline and you'll miss on damage. So in this case, most likely you won't use the full potential on Malphite. So I do recommend going full damage to at least shot someone. <laughs> As you lack on range, it's best to go with Comet Rune for extra poking rather than Harvester or Grass. I think Malph's support, regardless of kills, will be useful due to his ult, uh, as opposed to Diana, where her ult was quite slow and resulted in death. Malphite can ult literally through wall without giving enemies time to react. And for example, if you have Yasuo to follow up, it most likely will give you a positive outcome. In general, I think that Malphite support is quite easy and straightforward champ, so anyone can try him if you're bored of your usual supports. <laughs> now that we know the basics, let's try it out. Mm?
<laughs> okay, Fab. So we have our first gang. <laughs> Bruv, my flash though. <laughs> was just so bad <laughs> was very very bad but still one kill is better than none and it's very good that we kind of starting to bounce back at least a little bit <laughs> and i got assist so that's fantastic The fact that we managed to actually on minute seven buy a Hextech item, which is a part of Night Harvester item, is actually huge for us because this item will give me definitely a huge spike on damage. Like literally until you have that item, you don't really do much damage. Like you can basically poke with your Q, but once you do have that item, this is where you definitely feel the pain from your Q. <laughs> so the fact that we got it so early it makes me like aggressively happy <laughs> Woo! and we KS our first skill <laughs> oh, very good very good very good like content man <laughs> just need to KS like, but, like I said Malphite doesn't really need to kills to be useful but hey if you have then there's even more potential to one shot somebody like squishy adc squishy support plus we do have katarina so that as well can be a potential if for example i get a bit more kills right now obviously it's a bit mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah just saying what could like in a perfect scenario Very good follow up for Vayne. Man, I was just waiting to get that level six. <laughs> I think this is where actually like fun begins. You know what I mean? Like when you play as a Malphite support, or like in general Malphite, once you get that level six, <laughs> I'm telling you, that's where it's very, very fun. You literally stress out people so much. <laughs> <laughs> and what they do enemies, they actually like keep their flashes simply for my ult. <laughs> Which is very good. They are so mindful about my ult that they have to keep the flash. They cannot flash in the other ways. So even if they're gonna flash my ult next time, you know, my ult gonna come up faster than the flash. So next time. You won't be that lucky. You will lose. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely feel the high of playing as Malphite support, that's for sure. Like some supports, I'll be honest, are quite hard and require patience and sometimes it just doesn't work. Like, look, for me, Nico support was a huge downfall, not because like she's a bad support, but it's just definitely not my play style. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's interesting, but it definitely was not my support that I would play again, just because I'm bad. <laughs> but, uh, you know, some unusual supports are fun. Some unusual supports are just not for you, not because they're bad, but just not for your play style. And I just feel like Malphite is somebody that I'm like, give me some kills, give me some action, you know? <laughs> I just wanna go in and that's like ultimate really allows me to do that. I don't know if I can ult there. Uh, she's being way too aggressive. Oh shit! <laughs> <I> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, okay. Listen, I tried to help Vayne dodge the Caitlyn ultimate by blocking with myself, but Diana's ult kind of like countered this. So it just went out shit. <laughs> I think Vayne just lost a sense of fear <laughs> which is not bad it just makes it exciting right <laughs> no it's okay i do like how Vayne actually plays considering that she does have a shorter range than caitlin and i'm melee and for the most part we were like a little bit like struggling it's not that easy I still think that she's playing very good and she's following up and that makes me happy. Okay, so we have a wasted Renata's ult. That's huge. Let me go in. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> okay, I think that Vayne definitely could have survived, but she just had to go in there for whatever reason. <laughs> she definitely just had to step back and we would take over with Hacker, but okay. That's fine. Nevertheless, they died, so I just see the opportunity to take the plating. I just really need to push the second wave and get another plating. There we go. Good, so now we can go home. <laughs> Oops! Okay, I was not... Where is this damage coming from? Like, ah, oh, okay, like, okay, Kitley has three kills. <laughs> Man, but I was... I was sure that Vayne is gonna survive that, okay. I mean, we managed to trade, but it wasn't that good because in the end of the day, Caitlyn got the kill, so that's a bit shit. The thing is, like, my ultimate is up, but I just don't think that I have the damage to shot her. I think that if I would have Night Harvester right now, I could potentially do that, but I just don't want to, like, waste my ult because my cooldown for now is a little bit poopy. Later on, definitely, definitely, we are able to do that. But I just don't see the point wasting my ultimate. So we're just gonna poke her little by little and be patient. Okay, it's time to engage, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to die. <laughs> ah, very good. Very good, very good. <laughs> um, well done, Vayne. Double kill. For one second, I literally thought that I'm going to die. <laughs> because usually that would be the case, because I just sometimes don't know when to stop. <laughs> Let's be honest, when I have that 5 HP, I just still need to go 1v9. And then I get the Pikachu face like, why did I die? <laughs> but it's okay, we managed to survive. And my main purpose is basically just to make Vayne fat because we all know Ben to kill Vayne. <laughs> so I think that she's pretty fed for now and I think that I'm gonna be useful more in other lanes so we can try and uh, roam a little bit, help a little bit because with Vayne skill set I think that she definitely can go one versus two with Caitlyn and Renata. Okay, I see that Renata is pathing more towards mid lane, so I think I need to path bot because Caitlyn is alone, so we can potentially kill her, which is very, very good. We're just gonna take this for our advantage. Hey, Renata, I'm just gonna take this ward. 
<laughs> I need gold, so... Very good, very good follow up on Zillian. I really liked how he played that. Basically, Katarina flashed on him because she definitely has the potential to shot him. She used the ultimate. Unfortunately, I fucked it up my ultimate, like it just didn't reach. However, Zillian followed up on his bombs and as you saw, I picked up a second bomb for full damage and well, I had to flash. But it was definitely worth the kill, I think. But look at us being so useful. Like, it's very good that our kill participation is 50%. This is usually what I'm kind of looking for in a game as a support. I just, like, I want to have that high kill participation. Otherwise, like, what's the point, right? and run away. Look at me going. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I love that the boost of movement speed. <laughs> I cannot believe it that I did not die once. Because <laughs> usually it happens like the opposite, you know. <laughs> But it's, it's something for a change, man. Look, I'm trying to be not a noob who dies all the time, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm really trying to be cautious. I'm just not sure why Vayne is uh, sleeping on a base Ooh. or she out tabs. Because Vayne, we need you. <laughs> we need that penta. <laughs> A few inches later. Okay, so I'll be bald here and I'm just gonna take this scuttle for extra vision. Plus anyway, Warwick is nearby, so if anything happens, like he has that movement speed, so he can definitely follow up and help me out. Sort of like questionable activities and I think that we really need to be more patient. I don't really want to go in like stupid with my ult for no reason until Hecarim is around. Oops. <laughs> we may or may not stole the kill. <laughs> But uh, come on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I still have my ultimate, so I just want to do some woo 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 stuff. Like, look, guys, just let me dive. <laughs> oh, very well played. Very, very good. Okay, I was expecting to go tower dive. Man, Malphite ult and tower dive is just the most fucking sexy thing ever. <laughs> But it's okay, it was it was good as well. Like that's what I'm saying, like Malphite support or in general 
if you play top mile fight it's just so exciting and so good like you just go in with that ultimate that ultimate is just beyond sexy like i love it even if you're like going for tank mile fight it's still so good like the fact that you can just go in unexpectedly especially for the wall it definitely can result in a very very good fight and if you're going tank you just you are able as well to tank that's just crazy that's very very good or if you have a damage damage build that satisfaction of actually one shotting somebody is just fucking nuts <laughs> Okay, my ult soon is very up and you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh. Okay, I didn't want to like overextend and die like a noob because I do have a big shutdown. So it's like, okay guys, you take over from now <laughs> which is very good now heck i got a double kill so that's huge 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 and we're getting in even bigger lead as well i'm very happy that in a later game you stop kind of struggling with mana because like i said at first it's just like oh it is very very hard like you saw it's just like i can queue four or five times before i'm gonna have zero mana and it's just like it's really poopy but now having the damage and having that mana supply i think that this is the point where my queue actually stands out because the best thing about the queue is that it's just a point and click instead of having a need to aim for example or if it would be like okay you have to have a clear sight because if there's a creeps the queue will automatically hit the creeps but i think that's the great thing about point and click queue you can definitely show them who's the boss <laughs> Okay, I don't fucking understand what's the problem with Vayne because she kind of became very, very disconnected. Like, and she's just inting for no reason. Uh, I don't really understand what's up with that because we're not seeing any like disconnect issues whereas the game would tell like oh this player disconnected right so I'm kind of questioning what happened because she was playing very good and once I started to roam and help other lanes she died 1v1 in a bot lane to Katarina and from that point I started to kind of see this very questionable behavior where she's just standing next to the tower and does nothing or just goes and purposely ins for no reason because like we don't want Fiora to get fed because it's gonna be a problem so I don't know I mean she's not typing or she's not pinging she's not being toxic I hope that that's not the case that she's running it down on purpose because we are winning and like we should have fun like this game is so fun for fucking once <laughs> for fucking once I enjoyed this game <laughs> And I hope, guys, that uh, I'm trying to convince you that <laughs> Malphite support is very fun and actually a very useful support. It has a huge potential. And obviously, if your team is able to follow up, that's hello, a lot of fun. <laughs> because I'm really having a lot of fun right now and like I said the mechanics and overall skill set is pretty straightforward and very easy so I think that if you want to try some sort of like unusual support but you're like kind of hesitant and you don't know if you can do it or maybe it's too hard like I get it for example Diana's support is a little bit harder it's like kind of a medium difficulty would be a support but I think that Malphite it's pretty easy so like yeah if you're bored go on and try it out let me know <laughs> obviously it depends like a malphite as well depends on my team like bruv if your top laner is gonna feed the enemy top laner you're gonna do jack shit 
<laughs> but uh, if you see that you have a team lead, that's where you start having fun. Uh, probably you're having fun anyway. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, right? so fast I still don't even get an assist it makes me look like a shit <laughs> cuz I want to be involved in the drama you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I may or may not kill the hacker because of Renata's ult <laughs> I'm not sure but it just looks like I auto attack him there he died <laughs> GGGGGG, they surrender. Well played, both teams. Was really, really fun. Here's the Malphite support for you guys. <laughs> What's up, Love Crew? And we are back on playing Malphite supports. Ooh, how exciting is that? After losing 20 games. <laughs> Anyway, the thing is like, it's like a secondary support that I'm picking. Basically, we know that the new support called Milio is up and I actually straight away bought it. Because <laughs> obviously we are playing supports mainly. So I just wanted to try it out how it is. Because from what I saw that most of us, especially higher ELO players, they say that Milio is quite broken. And I just really wanted to try it out for myself oh my gosh this vein is so, so emotional from minute one <laughs> so yeah anyway milia support rise it's not that i cannot get the game for you guys with Emilio. it's just the problem that uh, most of the time unfortunately is getting banned <laughs> unfortunately i cannot even get into the game with Milio support. Um, I tried Milio for two times now, only two times, unfortunately. And there was one game where we really won the bot lane simply of how Milio skill set works. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that's going super great. Like I'm gonna take this game. But unfortunately, as we know, that bot cannot carry as opposed to top. So my top laner fed their top laner and it just didn't work out. <laughs> it just really, really didn't go well. So, you know, it's a bit shit. So I was like, okay, let me try again. And the second time when I was playing Milio support, unfortunately it was just overall team gap and as I think we're all aware of it, Milia is a support is support is support, it has no damage, it has no carry potential, it's basically I would say like Yumi but just have legs. <laughs> <laughs> Which is if you're into that kind of like play style where you don't really want to engage, don't really want to do damage, you just want to support your team, shield and heal and be very proactive in that uh, scenario, this is just literally the most perfect champion for you. It doesn't require you to be hyper aggressive or go in and try to maneuver and like CC and do all that woo -woo -woo situation, right? It is definitely... Um, I would say type of like chill gaming support and I felt really really chill like I'm just running around I'm just giving buffs I'm just giving this and that um, I went for shielding support rather than heal because I think that he's not that great as a heal as he is with shield um, 
maybe you can try and do like with the speed build type of situation. I don't know. You really kind of need to figure things out. Maybe try other builds and see what best works for you. So I guess I'm kind of in that process, so to say. But yet again, I really need to... <laughs> I do really need to try and play more because it was just two games and like I said most of the time I'm just literally getting banned so you know <laughs> and so right to say like I said it is quite strong support in that sense but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's like hyper broken you know because ultimately this depends a lot on your ADC or on your team. Like Milio is the kind of champion that heavily depends on your team. Probably absolutely the same as Yumi in this case. But don't worry guys, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, Ricky. Who the fuck's Ricky, though? Oh, Ricky. <laughs> Man, this why is like so emotional, bro. Like, maybe chill? <laughs> from my gosh the cheesers the cheesers guys okay i couldn't protect zary i'm sorry <laughs> bro the solo trade was very good <laughs> It was very good because in the end of the day, I got a double kill plus Jinx even flashed, which was extremely greedy. I don't think that was worth it because I didn't have my shutdown. So definitely for her, that kill was not worth it. Plus, it's very good that uh, my mid and emotional jungle followed up. So in the end, they killed Senna. So that's very good. In general, the trade, I think, was way more useful. Too bad that we are level four. That's a bit of shame. Like I'm just waiting for level six. This is where I think my gameplay starts. <laughs> but it's very good that I do have three kills. So it gives me that a little bit of damage boost. But yet again, we still cannot like lose our sense of fear. <laughs> <laughs> we do really have to focus and be more cautious because you gotta understand like if I'm gonna get CC'd there's just no fucking way I'm surviving this because in the end of the day I am quite squishy because I'm going full damage build instead of tank. The good thing, even if I'm playing against ranged support, that in the end of the day my trade is better than Senna's because if she Q and auto attacks me, my one Q does way more damage than she does with her little combo. So that's very good. Plus, obviously, my passive works very well. But man, <laughs> give me level six. <laughs> Okay, I definitely scared Senna 
<laughs> the biggest like my ulti didn't reach her but she still got really really scared and she did burn her flash which is very good i think that's a very reasonable trade considering that my ult is gonna go up in one minute 40 and she doesn't have flash for five minutes very good that was very very focused fight i think that we did very good like i literally beat us with my 5 hp <laughs> i'm happy that i didn't die very good timing by jungle uh as well very good timing by <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I may or may not inted. <laughs> I just had to go in the bush or whatever the fuck, but I just had to TP in the middle of fucking lane. <laughs> like, Alex, you're being such a fucking noob, man. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, guys. That was my B. That was my B. I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck! Man, I'm so angry at myself. Good. Now, Senna burned her flash and now Jinx burned her flash. So that's very good. Uh, come on, look, help me. No! Man, those diamond players <laughs> uh, it's very hard to play against diamond players i'm not gonna lie this is uh, something that i'm never gonna get used to i guess why you miss every r we didn't even flash <laughs> because i'm bad that's why <laughs> <laughs> oh guys i know what you think but i just didn't really bother to explain a person who's already having that negative attitude the fact that senna flashed twice and jinx as well flashed once every single time i ult like i ulted three times and every time they flashed so instead of me trying to explain what's the point i mean zeri is already having that huge ego for god knows what reason so i just might as well say something that that will please her ego and that's what i did you know <laughs> that's what i did if that's what's gonna make her play better and feel better i'd rather do that you know what i mean like there's just no point i think zeri runs on the same mentality as me irl <laughs> if i don't see the problem there's no problem <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like if i didn't see how they flash on your ultimate that means they never flash that means you're just bad <laughs> so uh yeah like i said i just don't see the point explaining or flaming back or anything like that because i'd rather just be a bigger person and say exactly what she wants to hear so that she would just like Shut the fuck up <laughs> and play.
And that's not even like in general the case. Am I really that bad? Why and Zeri like keeps flaming me for no reason? She completely lost it, guys. My question is, why you go in? <laughs> like, you see we're hyper aggressive, you know, like you should know that jungle is somewhere there and you still go in. Oh, by the way, I actually had an idea. So basically, you know, when we set the goal of 500 subs to do the Twitch, I thought that that was very, very cool, like kind of a milestone or kind of like a target that was very fun for both of us to reach. I think that it motivated you, all of you to push for me to stream and it really, really motivated, you know, me to play better and try harder, you know, to push the content, yada, yada, yada. So I thought that this is kind of like a good thing for both of us now. And I just kind of thought that we definitely need to get our second, some sort of like a target. I would say <laughs> so I feel like I don't know I, I was just like thinking and thinking and thinking and uh, what we're supposed to do right and I thought that our next target can be basically me streaming with the cam <laughs> yes the cam guys the cam <laughs> you know shy and not confident but i thought you know maybe i can try like do for us a little goal so basically the goal would be 2000 subs on youtube and 2000 follows on twitch and i'll start streaming with the cam that's the goal guys <laughs> So basically, you do have the time to push, guys. Push, 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 push. And I think that I'm gonna have that time to kind of, you know, it's not even only about the streaming, but it's just in general for me to start being probably more confident. So I have the time to research how to work on my confidence, how to work on my like cam presence and all of that. Because, uh, you know, I don't want my fears and like just like discomfort to affect my gameplay the way it is i want to have fun i want to play good and in general just you know be natural and be normal <laughs> so i'm very very excited but i'm scared it's just my like inner fears that like has nothing to do with like streaming and stuff it's just like in general i'm like i always was a quiet kid i always was very like a shy and modest like no fucking friends <laughs> like i don't know it's just introvert life you know what i mean 
And I just feel like instead of just living like that and being like that, because I do want to talk with people. I want to be more open. I want to have more fun. And that means that instead of just like complaining and sitting where I'm at, I just need to work on myself. So I think that that would be a huge, huge motivation for me to push and be better. And for you guys as well, a motivation to push and get the numbers up, to see me, to see my like clown reactions. <laughs> the way I try and scream, I'm sorry. Like I scream, okay? Like I get like really upset and scared if they come up from somewhere, like, ugh, you know? <laughs> so I don't know, how's that feel for you guys? I think that this is a very reasonable goal. The numbers are not that high, but it will definitely still give me some time to improve myself. And I think that we definitely can work on that. <laughs> My gosh, I survived. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it that I survived. So I actually had to die there. I mean, I can constantly die yet to know. It's just, it looks like we do have a lead, but it definitely, definitely looks very, very hard. I don't know, guys, how about you? But it definitely looks extremely, extremely hard. Maybe it's not the way we play, but probably more on the like mental side. I think we're weaking really on the mental side because I really like what Yarna and Gwen does. They just like focus and they play. Whereas as opposed to like Jungle and ADC gets like super emotional every time something goes wrong. And that's just... This is very weak mental because I think that we are in the lead and we are as a team better and stronger, but I just feel like, you know, sometimes you can be so much on a lead, but still lose simply because you lost that momentum, right? And this is where I feel like is a bit poopy, so to say, you know, there's just like so much I can do. I can just go in and if I can follow up, it's a GG for red team, but I feel feel like the egoing problem starts to show up more and more like I can see uh, more and more misplace of Vi which is extremely extremely strong and she does play good but I think that solo bola somehow from a mid game it starts to be like a little bit questionable because even though she's like very very strong and she has that good to see she cannot 1v9 and that's what I'm afraid a little bit that you know this can definitely ruin our game if not to play it cost cautiously. <sighs> it's very bad that I didn't shot Jinx. Fuck. I really thought that this was gonna be enough. Ah. Might be, might be, but uh, yeah, um, basically Seth flashed on me because he lost his lane, so the only person he can kill is me. <laughs> and he's capitalizing on that, which is very good tactics. That's a very good way of coming back. But it's just like really like freaking annoying because he flashed and then I had to ult Jinx. I almost shot her, but I didn't. So that's extremely, extremely poopy. But in the end of the day, the trade was very good. So we could say that I died <laughs> for a good cause. But there was no way I would survive there. Because I think that the only big problem we have is Jinx, because she's like super fed. And for me to go next to her is literally impossible if I do not have my ultimate. you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not 
not really fun. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Wow, what the fucking bitch move, man. <laughs> Look, I thought that this only plat player served that emotional, but man, like I really needed a blue buff and Gwen left it for me and you had to do it. Okay. Okay, I don't want to go in there like a stupid. Okay, here we go. The infamous pings and flame. <laughs> Man, you're allowed to move, you know. <laughs> Man, you're allowed to not go 1v9, man. <laughs> That's the reason, like, I don't know, like, I think that Broxar as well said numerous times, like, you do those misplays and then you blame literally everybody else except yourself. Like, that was literally your fault why you did this. I simply didn't want to go in because I knew that I will die. This is how I squish I am. She went one versus four, and I just saw that Gwen was just coming and trying to follow up. So I'd rather go with Gwen and support her instead of going there. And four people just shot at her. What do you think would happen if I would go there too? You know what I mean? I thought that this is just not beneficial for our team to simply just go in and die like that. But you know, the whole game, we keep flaming me, my Django, my ADC, so... us to win to actually play through Gwen and Yo-Yo otherwise I don't really see any other way because even considering our <laughs> I don't know what was that play from Zeri <laughs> diamond players guys <laughs> is that literally how diamonds play I because <laughs> even though if we have such a huge lead I just like, this game is so, so hard. Not because we would potentially be behind the gold or something like that. I just feel that the ego is so huge, especially of like jungle, that it makes us lose the game for no reason. Because going solo bolo one versus nine, just to prove the point of what? I just don't know, you know? <laughs> Being hyper aggressive is just not necessarily like that. You have to play very patient. You have to calculate your moves. If you're not doing that, then what's the point? You know what I mean? I think that this was a clear example of how Ego can destroy a very free game. It was quite fun in a bot lane. We were winning our bot lane. I'm not quite sure why Zeri suddenly lost her shit, but uh, that's a shame. So diff, you know, it's always my fault. <laughs> anyway, joking, joking, joking. I still hope that this game will be of some sort of a use for you to understand how to play Malphite support, how to engage, how to maneuver, and how to think as a Malphite. I hope that you had as much fun as I did. And with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. Please take care of yourselves, and I see you very soon. Catch the love! You will lose.